something that you would like evals to rule out is that companies are building arbitrarily super intelligent and dangerous models internally and the public has absolutely no ability or oversight to know that that's happening or decide whether it's appropriate to then scale off and build an even better model. So in some sense, pre-deployment evals could actually be bad because delaying deployment could be bad if that means that you miss the window to be able to sound the alarm about, wait, wait, this model is super scary. You shouldn't build a more capable model. You don't want the gap between what labs have internally and what anyone has had meaningful oversight of to be arbitrarily to large. The whole eval mentality at the moment is around, we need to check what our models are able to do before the public has access to them. And you're saying, actually, maybe what is more important is the evaluations that we do before we even train the model. And the reason is, if you only think about deployment to the public, then there's no limit on the thing that you could train internally. You could make right. a model that's incredibly dangerous. Maybe yeah. it's incredibly good at recursively self-improving. Right. It would be able to survive in the wild and, and avoid right. shutdown if, yeah. it, if it escaped. And also, even if you started doing that testing after you've trained the model, the commercial pressure, the internal pressure, the pressure from investors to use it right. is going to be overwhelming. <laughs> right. It's unlikely that you'll just delete it. Right. You're going to keep it around. And that creates a whole lot of risk that are not obvious to the public at all. 